if you've never licked lick a lick fanny, <laughs> but you've always really wanted to. It's really sad that some people think that their orientation doesn't matter or doesn't exist mm. because they're with someone. You're just very small. I know, I'm tiny. You're a smidge. Little goblin. I notice you pout a lot. You're just like... Mm -hmm. That's Sarah. <laughs> there he is. Uh, bleh. <laughs> Me and Sarah have been friends since we were like 16, right? And she used to have a YouTube channel years ago. She's class, man. Was, She's the first person I knew who had a YouTube channel and like she made me want to start a channel. But she's just recently started a YouTube channel again and it's linked down below. It's better. Even though you still loved my channel. I loved your channel. Like I was like her number one fan. We used to have like a little crush on each other and we didn't know till like years later. Just now. Like, <laughs> pretty much now. Our whole friend group all used to like kiss each other and stuff. And I what? wasn't, I wasn't really around. I was with someone so I didn't get to engage in the, in the kissing behavior. So yeah, we never kissed, but she kissed my boyfriend. That's a little fact for you. Like, not when they were together, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm done, I don't like anyone. <laughs> he cheated on me in advance with you. Seeing as I talk a lot about sexuality online, like, Sarah and I both identify as bisexual, but we're also in relationships with men. And there's a lot to be said about that on the internet. Yes. <laughs> so we're just kind of gonna have a chat about that. We feel like you don't have to label yourself as like bisexual or gay or straight. Like for years, I didn't identify as bi, it was just, I was straight because I was with a guy. Yeah, yeah, that's what but you I, felt at the time. Yeah, yeah. Cause but it, I like, I knew I liked girls. If someone's asked me, it's like, oh, I'm straight, but I like girls. It's just kind of like, yeah, that's yeah. how I identified myself for years. For years, yeah, yeah, and that's completely okay. Like, at the end of the day, a label is just a word and it makes it easier to communicate things to other people. Like, that's the main benefit of labels. There's loads of reasons why people will and will not label their sexuality. Sarah's situation shows how kind of fluid sexuality can be, like, your label can change. <laughs> we were both talking uh, the other day about like when we realized the feels that we had and we didn't really know quite what that meant because I didn't even know the word bisexual existed for years and years. But we both around the same time, it was like 10 okay, About 10 and for me, yeah. what was it that you said about who your first crush was? My first crush was um, actually Tara from Buffy, which is like <laughs> probably not the most sexual one in it. Like, she's not like, oh my God, I'm gorgeous. But she, like, there was something about her. I just thought she was so cute. It was actually when she went insane. <laughs> I think Buffy made a lot of people question themselves. Like, even the first lesbian kiss I saw was in Buffy. Mm -hmm. Years and years ago. Yeah. Remember that, like, I was like, oh my god. I was so shocked. I'd never seen it before. Yeah. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd thought that was a normal thing. But then I had all these outside influences telling me that wasn't a normal mm -hmm. thing. I always knew I wasn't gay, like... Um, so yeah, it's just, it's a really confusing thing. But then when you do get to a point in your life where you're like comfortable with who you are and stuff, sometimes you feel like it's not relevant to bring it up because this is what we're, mm -hmm. what we've both kind of gone through is, um, like I've always had serious relationships with men. I had like two long-term monogamous relationships with men and now I'm with a man again. I never really identified with bi. Well, I, I did and I didn't. Mm. It was just because I knew I liked girls and I didn't think that was a big deal. I thought mm. I was like, okay, I like girl, that's fine. But I was always like drawn to men. There was always like more men available that I was attracted to. Yeah. So I felt like that because I was always attracted to men. And men would approach you and, and yeah, ask you out. And, and you. I felt like I had like, I liked more guys than I liked girls. So it wasn't 50 50. So it's like, if it's not 50 50, then, then I, I can't, can't be. Yeah. I can't be bisexual. <laughs> like, there's no way. Like, I know. And I always talk about this. Like, I, I think like, the umbrella term of bi it's like under that falls like bi curious so people who are just slightly interested or have like certain thoughts but they might not want to do anything about it even or maybe they do then there's like bisexual a lot of people identify as bi romantic separately from bisexual so they might um be like no i could definitely just date men or women there's even people who are like asexual but bi romantic like there's mm -hmm. all sorts of things the way like a lot of sexual researchers put it is that there's straight and then there's gay and so many people fall in the middle mm -hmm. somewhere. But that the thing with it is, is if you do choose to identify with a word, say like bisexual, and then you go out with someone, the someone you go out with oftentimes will be a man or a woman. Mm -hmm. And you know, like, so then people will question your orientation. Yeah. But your orientation is nothing to do with who you're with. So remember that. Yeah. <laughs> your boyfriend knows that you what you what you are how you feel yes and mine knows and has all like known long before um we were together and stuff like that and doesn't mind at all um but it's the kind of thing where i used to mind so like i i 
with my in my last long term relationship is when I kind of said it about it on the internet, and he actually encouraged me to. It was because we were doing um there was a marriage referendum in Ireland uh-huh. for like gay marriage to be legal and stuff, and a lot of my gay friends at the time were kind of saying to me, "Why would you not use your platform to discuss these kind of issues and topics?" And I was like. I have a boyfriend it's disrespectful <laughs> like I just didn't see the point of like why would I go out there and say like I am a bisexual woman when I'm in a straight relationship mm-hmm. but I didn't understand at the time and like you were kind of similar in that like you felt like there's no point yeah exactly like it was about, for me it was more because my friends all knew I had no problem like kind of saying that but it was like more with my family mm. and like some of my family mem- members did know but it was stuff like my parents. Yeah. I was like, there's no point in that. Because I, well, I didn't think they'd be upset by it. It's like, but I can't like just say to them like, oh, I'm bi. It was like, Cause you were they wouldn't re- I didn't think they'd understand at first. Yeah, there's no point in saying to my mom that I'm bisexual, but I'm with a man and I might end up with a man. So I just never told her. That is okay though as well. Like you don't actually have to tell people. I think people should feel comfortable in like, if they know who they are and like, that that can be enough for some people. But um with me I feel like it's just such a big part of who I am and like certain things I'll say like I'll always like make comments about like actresses or like Mm -hmm. um or if I'm wanting to talk about past experiences like some of those past experiences involved women so like Mm -hmm. if I'm if I was with someone or like in a friend group and they didn't know I would feel a bit a little bit weird like I was I was hiding something more like Mm -hmm. editing who I am so I think that's the reason like why I identify with that word I think it's really sad that some people think that their orientation doesn't matter or doesn't exist Mm -hmm. because they're with someone say when you were like 20 if you had got a girlfriend Mm -hmm. and then everyone started calling you a lesbian that wouldn't be true yeah because you'd still Mm -hmm. you know what I mean or if you were single you'd Mm -hmm. still be bi even if you're not with anyone yeah well I kind of did get called a lesbian like in school a few times like like, people would call me like pink triangle because there was a Weezer oh, Weezer yeah, was very yeah, yeah, big yeah. back then and so they called me pink triangle after that song and I actually went to school with the pink triangle on my sleeve for like about a year Aww. just because I, I was feeding into it I was like yeah I'm pink triangle and I loved it like, yeah I, I still remember that as well there's a lot of stereotypes within the bi community like people assuming like all bisexuals have threesomes or all bisexuals will cheat even though like loads of straight people cheat, like it doesn't mean if you're bi, it doesn't mean you fancy everyone you see. It's the same way a straight guy doesn't fancy every woman he sees. It's not like that at all. Yeah, if I ever used to kiss a girl, like people would discount it straight away. They'd be like, they would assume it wasn't like an enjoyable thing. I don't understand what they thought. It was like, you're either one or the other. I, I, I told this story in my book about how like my dad used to date this woman, right? For years and then she moved to New York and started seeing a woman for years so she was mm-hmm. in a relationship oh, with yeah. a woman for years and I remember he was telling me about her and he was like Mel do you remember that woman I used to go out with she's now a lesbian mm-hmm. and I was like what oh my god and and, and then I because I was so confused about mm-hmm. all my thoughts and feelings I was like what am I yeah. what am I <laughs> but then she married a man and now she has kids with the man yeah. and then he was like oh she must have just gone back straight again I was like dad she's <laughs> obviously <laughs> bi but she doesn't ob- she must not I, outwardly identify as mm-hmm. bi so that causes other people to question you know I, I just think like my point with this is like, I don't think people should make assumptions about other people yeah. based on like what they ad- let people identify as what they want to identify mm-hmm. as because it helps them. But like I, I think it's funny actually when you said that. It reminded me of this this girl that it was like one of my first real like life crushes, um, and I fancied her like loads. She was this like cute. I don't want to describe her too much. But she was this <laughs> cute little. I use call her like a pixie. She's a cute little pixie, very happy all the time, very like like very ha- yeah, just very happy and then love doing activities and stuff like this. And I, just, I <laughs> so many activities. <laughs> but you know she was very outgoing and she was just this cute little Ten. ginger <laughs> and um yeah so I told her I fancied her when I was like 15 years old and she was just like oh I'm just not into that girls or anything like that I'm really sorry and we were still friends after it was fine but then years later she went to Japan she came back with a girlfriend <laughs> I was raging I was so raging I was like why couldn't you fall in love with me oh but like for some people it's so it's just dependent one person. on the person yeah, yeah I think that's what it was because now she's with with a guy and like she's never identified as bi or lesbian or anything I think mm. she just really like lo- loves that person, person. Yeah. yeah that can happen as well and like I think like I know people who have had a relationship um like you'd call like a queer relationship or whatever like they're dated mm. the same gender or sex or whatever and um not identified like completely still identified as 
just like it's not a thing for them mm-hmm. so I think like that's okay actually this year so I went to Pride in London for the first time and I loved it like it was so cool but I remember talking to you about it and you were like oh, I've never gotten to like go to one of them for and stuff and tell, tell yeah. them what you told well, me like I just I just didn't feel like I, it was my community um because I've always been in like male relationships mostly and I have had the odd like fling or whatever dating a girl but I never thought like it was my it was my community because I never felt it is I know I know (laughs) it is but like I've never felt like alone I've never felt like it was difficult I never thought I never went through the struggles that everyone else Mm -hmm. well most people have been through and they they thought was like such a horrible thing coming out and like keep it a secret and stuff like I've never been through that so I felt like it wasn't my community I've never been through the struggles that everyone else has been through I know but, but so many LGBT people like have, haven't had struggles I know so many gay people who had like a sw- like swimmingly like mm-hmm. it's just everything's gone fine for them but it's um I think for me why I I like tied myself in my later years so much to that community even when I was in a long term relationship like he was so like yes yes like he encouraged me mm-hmm. to talk about it um and stuff because for so many people who have no voice and and are are struggling when you are completely okay with it and you've had mm-hmm. a good time of it and stuff it's it's kind of almost just adding your support to this big mm-hmm. swirling thing and um and it encourages more people to be like see all you so all these people who are getting on fine and be like oh i'm going to be fine yeah. it's going to be okay um cuz like yeah it was it's strange that that it's it's so upsetting to me like that kind of stuff it's it's like almost that it doesn't count or like like you you tell yourself that because mm-hmm. I did that for years and years and years when I was with my ex and um, but it would between us like me and him would you know like always talk about girls and stuff that were were attractive same way like I'd always be like oh that guy is hot like he yeah, wouldn't mind yeah. me saying stuff like that do you know what I mean like not in a I've never cheated like I would never cheat on oh, someone no. but it's not like that it's just appreciating the physical form of other people <laughs> or like or yeah or talking about because I was kissing this girl that like he really fa- fancied and then he was trying to get stuck into me and I was just like I was like oh we were the last girl like I was kissing is the girl you're you've been trying to get with all night it's really nice to be able to like have a big group of people who kind of understand that yeah. as well even if even if you haven't struggled with it like because I don't I know you're saying you haven't struggled with it but at the same time you've had moments where you've thought like oh my sexuality doesn't count or matter yeah or my orientation isn't a thing because I'm with a guy yeah you know yeah maybe those are my struggles but I didn't think of them as as too that. bad yeah. yeah but I think what I want to do and I, I want to go to pride with you and I think maybe then yes. I'll feel a part of it like I would think because I've yeah because just because I've never been around them and just accepted that because it's only recently where I've been like okay I'm definitely bi I'm gonna let everyone know like I'm not gonna identify as straight anymore because you know when mm. you fill out like job applications and they do the like the and equality they ask you thing and, I, and for ages I was like straight, straight. straight. <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like I'm bisexual. I, most of the time, it's not relevant for me, for me to tell people. Like, there's loads of people who I never would talk to this about because it's nothing to do with our relationship or the conversation. Like, I'm not just gonna go. By the way, like, it's just nothing to do with it. But, by the but, way, oh, all right. <laughs> with this YouTube thing, like, I, it was doing so well for me such, for such a long time. I'd never mentioned this, and then because we had the referendum, I talked about mm-hmm. it, and I had this influx of people so many people were like oh my god I'm in a relationship but like I feel like I'm definitely that as well and like Mm. I I never want to tell anyone but I just want to thank you for talking about it and all this and it's so nice to know that like that people even who don't necessarily want to tell their family or friends and stuff but they just wanted like validation like you are valid like how you feel is valid regardless of who does or doesn't know about it yeah and I found like when I do tell certain people like some people say oh like I don't, I'm not bi, but I actually have thought about the the same like the same sex. You know, there's one person I thought was the most beautiful thing, mm. even though I'm not gay. So they kind of like it kind of opens up even that conversation. Yeah, even just like oh yeah, well I've had thoughts like that, but you know, but I'm I still straight, yeah. I still want to identify as straight. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, and I I know I know a lot of people who have told me, for example, like they'll watch lesbian porn, but they're completely straight, mm-hmm. and like that is valid as well. Like that they're choosing to identify as what they feel that they are, and mm-hmm. that's completely fine. Um. I think it's just the more people that open up about it, the more people feel comfortable to identify as a certain way. Yeah. For example, like a lot of guys that I know, um, I only know two bisexual men and they usually do date women as well because it's just easier for them. Mm-hmm. Like a lot, 
it's just it just is easier like there's, yeah. there's there's more of the opposite that are going to like be coming on to you like yeah. and I was talking to you about this like I'm I'm never the one to make a first move so even for guys to make a move, like come up to me and be like hey is like a big thing but like women like mo- a lot of women do wait because we're kind of taught that from a young yeah. age like it's programmed into your I something. never waited I, was like, <laughs> I want this I'm going for it right Check it. if people do make remarks or like ask questions and stuff they're really confused about why would you identify as xyz when you're in fact with this person maybe just try and educate them about how your orientation has nothing to do with who you're with um and if if that doesn't work then like accept that they don't have to understand yeah i don't think other people have to have to get it like if you've never licked a licked a fanny (laughs) but you've always really wanted to doesn't mean like <laughs> doesn't mean that you've not really wanted to yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> and you know if you can lick a fanny <laughs> just do it it's great crack that was a brief introduction to sarah on my channel but uh we're, we're doing one over on hers now if you want to go over and, and yeah. give her a little subscribe oh uh, yeah and, that'd be nice that'd be lovely, l- if, lovely. You, if you could only if you have the time now bring a cup of tea <laughs> or a glass of wine cheers cheers and uh, give, give a thumbs up and and leave a comment and goodbye bye